today. So we're here today with Marissa, who I'm sure needs no introduction. Um, please tell for the people in the very unlikely event, Marissa, that they haven't heard of you, about yourself and your work, please. So my name is Marissa Peer, and I created RTT, which means Rapid Transformation Therapy. We're now the largest hypnotherapy training company probably in the world, and we've got an amazing technique that rapidly fixes issues like anxiety, phobias, fears, drinking, smoking, overeating, you name it. And we're, taught, we're teaching it all over the world. I also speak and lecture and still see some clients, write books, so it's all wonderful. Great work, wow. Well, nobody really better to speak to then than a lady who's trained all of these people um, to really understand the link between our mindsets, mm -hmm. I know, um, you work particularly in that space, and its power over the body. Looking at it from a longevity perspective, how important do you think the mind is? Oh, very important. For instance, if you look at somebody like Goldie Horn, who's aged incredibly well, her daughter will age incredibly well because that's what she's seen. If you have a mother who complains about periods and says, oh, you know, I've got arthritis and my eyesight's gone now that I'm 50, then we know that happens because adopted children seem to have the same periods as their adoptive mothers. If the mother wow. says it's easy, they do too, and vice versa. So what you expect about aging, one of the rules of the mind is that what we expect tends to be realized. If you went to Japan or went to somewhere you saw women aging very beautifully, in France they don't call it aging, they call it saging. Oh, I like so if you see people who age very well around you, sort of in Japan, you'll see people still doing Tai Chi in the morning. If you went to the Blue Zones in Turkey, in uh, Sardinia, where people are still walking and having sex and, and they're in their 80s, then that's what you expect. So what you expect to happen will happen. The worst thing is to sit in your people's home watching television. And if you have to be active, in the Blue Zones, people still cook, they walk up and down hills. They're very involved, and so the, I, have a, I love that expression, when hope dies, old age runs to meet you. And retirement is, I will never retire, I love my joy. But I think aging is an expectation that we turn into, and yet we know there, I mean, look at Joan Collins, look at um, Jane yes. Fonda, look at, um, I met Martha Stewart two years ago, I thought she wow. was amazing, 85, she was training, she was hanging out Still with Snoop Dogg, yeah, but Snoop Dogg <laughs> is her friend. Wow, great. And so when you see people who age well, you think, are they abnormal or are they the normal and ah. the other bits are abnormal? And of course nowadays we can do so much, we can take supplements, exercise is phenomenal. For, You're on sorry, your drip yeah. today. <laughs> supplements, exercise, sex, yes, so many things we can do and or having a young attitude because you know we have three ages, psychological, emotional, chronological. So you have the age on your birth certificate, you might say you're 60. If you are a runner, you'd have knees that were 80 and skin that was 80 but lungs that were only, th were only 50. So all of the organs age differently. And your psychological age, the age you feel, is the most important age. Chronological age doesn't really matter. Because you could take 160 year olds, they'll be totally different. Wow, 160, do no, you? No, you could take 160 year olds, uh, and each one would be different. 160 year olds, of course. So it's not your, the age of your birth certificate, it's your psychological age. You know, if you look at yes. someone like Goldie Horn, who's always giggling, that makes you younger by nature. So you want to act younger. Yes. Not so much in wearing young clothes, act younger in, you know, do young things and um, hang around with kids, laugh, giggle, have sex, be, have fun, because that will keep you young. I love that. So a lot is down to the mindset and our belief of system. Absolutely. Yeah, and that actually would create a chemical reaction of to course. speak to ourselves. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Wow, well you look absolutely fantastic. And one last question for you, Marissa. I hear from a lot of doctors and professors who are working with us on our referral concierge service, which is called Vanderveld mm -hmm. and Hennessy, um, that with their skills, people can comfortably, realistically live till 150. I'd love to bring you in as one of our referral partners so we can refer some of our okay. CEOs, executives to you, help with our Formula Woman, get their mindset. Mm. But a really important thing for me, and I think I know the answer, is um, would you align to we could live till what age <laughs> yeah, to do I, things possible? I, I think certainly into your hundreds. I plan to live into my hundreds. Yes. Know. I'm loving my life. I think. 
life gets better at every age. I'm having the best time of my life now. Yes. And so I want to live into my hundreds at least. Yes. And it's about living into our hundreds but feeling like we yeah, do now. Of course. Yeah. You don't want to live into our hundreds if you're just sitting in a, a chair and you can't move. So yeah. you want to have... And again, you can have a young body. You also want to have a young mindset. So you can have oh, both. Yeah. And they know the professors who are in their 90s have the same brain as them in their 30s because the brain is very brutal as people would use it or lose it. But if you keep using your mind, doing Sudoku, doing new stuff, it will stay young. So, and, and a tip for you, so obviously doing these puzzles, growing new yes. pathways, important. Anything else that you could give to the listeners as advice to stay as young as possible? Well, certainly exercise, because you will say, oh, they have a fall. You know, the most important thing is to act, lift heavy weights. Okay. Yoga is great, running, but you want to lift heavy weights because that is so profoundly effective at keeping you young and keeping, you, keeping your muscles young. Have sex as much as you can because it's a young activity. And if you have sex a lot, your brain thinks you're young because only young yes. people do that. Love that. And so that's very important. Take some really good supplements. Drink water, a lot of water. Move around a bit. It's more important to put good stuff in than take bad stuff out. So eat some green stuff and get sleep. Really do sleep when you sleep with a sleep mask because your whole metabolic system, most of your body systems reset if you sleep in pitch black. And of course our ancestors always slept in pitch black. There was no light. So good quality sleep, pitch black sleep with a mask or curtains, um, move around, do some exercise, have some sex and put some good stuff into your that. diet. And, and just one quick one. When, when I go to sleep and I've listened to yeah. your recordings, going to sleep, yes. um, you know, understanding that our brain is processing, certainly yes. the last thing we listen to, would you advise that people listen to like your recordings oh, yeah. and trainings yeah, definitely. during sleep as I mean, well? we have a recording called about being young. You can be younger. I've got a book called You oh. Can Be Younger. Oh, wow. It's, got, it's on sale down here, downstairs. Here oh, today. I didn't even know that. I so a copy. you definitely. can actually listen to recordings while you sleep in a subconscious state. It will really help you. Okay. So the book's called You Can Be Younger. You Can Be Younger. Thank you so much, You're Marissa. You're welcome. Thank Looking you. Looking forward to working with you more in the future. Thank you. Blessings. Thank you so much. Thank you.